Hey, this is Movie Edge, and uh, yes, this is the last letter of the alphabet, the Z's, of course. What other last letter of the alphabet is there but the Z's? Or as the UK people like to call it, the Z. Z? Z, Z, I don't know. But um, small stack here again, right here. I don't have many Z movies. But what I do got, it's right here, baby. And, uh, of course, there might be some more Zs when I do my wife's collection. We're both going to do that together. It's A through Z on that. And then um, I have uh, Disney. So there might be some Z stuff in there. I don't know yet. And I do have a Digibook collection. And... Um, an IMAX film collection. So I have other collections. There might be some more letters in there. I don't know. But those collections, besides my wife's, might be alphabetized, might not be. I don't know yet. If it takes time to alphabetize, I'm not doing it. So, yeah. Let's get started with the Z's, people. I'm happy it's done. A movie that everyone's seen and everyone loves, Zombie Land. And this stars uh, Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, and Abigail Breslin. Great cast. And um, second movie's coming out, and I can't wait to see it. It's got Rosalia, Rosalia Dawson in it this time around. Um, of course, Bruce. Bill Murray has his own zombie movie out right now. Um, I forgot what it was called, but yeah, him and Adam Driver, they're both in a zombie movie. They're fighting zombies, so yeah. Don't know how that is, but... Um, <clears throat> Bill Murray was in this movie as well, and he gets killed. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this by now. Um, yeah, this is all region, in case you're wondering. And... Uh, yeah, deleted scenes, commentary with actors, yeah, commentary with actor Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, uh, commentary with the director, the writers, go behind the scenes, uh, and then some other uh, special promos and other stuff. Great movie, highly recommend it. It is, oh, this is a real old one, it's got like the, uh, the actual um, physical a little copy in it so yeah um it's been released more than once it's been released in steelbook form it's been released um re-released on this with a digital and other stuff but um yeah i recommend this it's not scary at all basically comedy gotta make room all right this one i put under z's because it was hard to categorize and um, this is The Mask of Zorro and The Legend of Zorro. So I just put it under Z for Zorro. Uh, double feature. This one, I think, is uh, out of print or pretty close to it. You have to buy these separate now. Uh, I haven't seen these movies in years, but they are fun. And they were produced by Ablame Entertainment. Um... Who's the producers on here? Steven Spielberg, executive, produced this first one and the second one as well. So, yes, they're both PG-rated movies. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's got Antonio Banderas, Anthony Hopkins in the first one, Antonio Banderas, and Catherine Zeta-Jones in the second one. So, yeah, these, these are fun movies in case you haven't seen them. Well worth checking out. A uh, movie that was a uh, <clears throat> search for Ben Laden, and um, well, kind of slow in spots, but it it is intriguing. Uh, a five Academy Award nominees, including Best Picture, but it did win. Is there a dark thirty? <laughs> it did win New York Film Critics Circle Award and National Board. A review award for Best Picture, uh, Best Director Kathleen Bigelow, 
so it did win some awards on the circuit. Golden Globe winner Jessica Chastain. So it won a lot of awards. It just didn't win any Oscars. And um, how long is this movie? Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it too. Um, 157 minutes. Pretty long. Um, Chris Pratt I know was in this. But it's not that long. Um, Jason Clark. Um, yeah. But if you really want to see a good war movie. It has to deal with war. Zero Dark Thirty baby. And um, yeah. Strong violence. Including uh, brutal disturbing images. And for language. It's rated R. But I, I, I highly recommend like kids in school, like high school kids, to watch that. You know, yeah. Um, from a war, depressing movie to a comedy. That's right. And uh, a lot of people crapped on this movie, but I think it was fun. I think it was really fun. Had a lot of great voices in it. And it is um, Kevin James and Zookeeper, and this is produced by Adam Sandler. All region and uh, the voices in here consist of well it also stars uh, Raz, Razalia Dawson um, Leslie Bibb um, it's got the voices of Adam Sandler in here Nick Nolte um, Sylvester Stallone and and I know Ken John is in here as the um, snake wrangler, which always gets bit. He always gets bit in the movie and he's just paralyzed all the time. Um, he's hilarious in this movie. Small role, but he was funny. Um, and that's about it. There is special features on here, deleted scenes, the cast of Zookeeper, behind the stunts, be a bear, and uh, that's about it. It's 102 minutes. It's well worth checking out. I think it's a great family movie if you want to see it. Um, there's really nothing mm, that bad in it that, you know, would be offensive to kids. Uh, so for the monkey, I think pees all over everything or something. But uh, hilarious movie. <sighs> These two... I had the first one, and then I felt I found the second one cheap. But uh, we'll talk about this one first, and then Zoolander. I like I kind of like Zoolander, the first one, and um, it has a it's a Ben Stiller film. He directed it. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Will Ferrell, uh, Chris Christina Taylor, which is his wife, and uh, Mila Jovovich. And Jerry Stiller, his dad, Jerry Stiller, and John Voight. Uh, I think Vince Vaughn had a really small part in this movie. Um, who executive produced this? Doesn't. Uh, story by Ben Stiller. Uh, produced by Ben Stiller. And directed by Ben Stiller. So, yeah, it's a VH1 films. Came out in 2001. So, yeah. I mean, the first one's great. The second one, I found for a really dirt cheap price, and it was almost brand new. Just didn't have the, just didn't have the code in it. And uh, this was at um, our local Second and Charles, which doesn't exist anymore. Um, and... Uh, I, I just, I don't know if I want to really, uh, I don't know if this is just going to be a dust collector or if I'm ever going to see it, but it, this, does this have both versions on it or just the unrated version on it? I think this is just the unrated version, but it is a uh, Zoolander number two, uh, the Magnum edition. And, uh. It's got Penelope Cruz in it, Owen Wilson, Christian Wig, of course Ben Stiller, Will Ferrell, uh, directed, I have to actually look inside, I think this is directed by Ben Stiller, yeah, directed by Ben Stiller, 
who else is in here? Fred Almerston. Uh, did I say Will Ferrell? Yeah, I did. Um, and there might be some other cameos in here as well. I haven't seen this movie yet, so I can't comment. But uh, it was um, written by Ben Stiller, some other people, and uh, produced by Ben Stiller and some other people. So, yeah, it's 2016. It's the unrated version. And uh, I, I just, if, if you've seen it and you liked it, comment below. If not, you know, comment below anyway. It's just going to be collecting dust on my shelf. This one I found at um, the Glitch in a System sale like two years ago at uh, Dollar General. And it looked fun. Zombie Diaries 2. Now, I was looking for Zombie Diaries 1 and it's only on DVD. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have got two. And this is from um, a company. Oh, Weinstein Company, which no longer exists. Um, Merrimax is coming back, though. He used to own that, but uh, yeah. Let's not get into that one. Uh, doesn't have anybody, actually, that I recognize in this movie. Um, nope. It looked fun, but um, I'm so pissed that the first one is not on Blu-ray as well. Um, this was a Dimensions, uh, home video release. And, uh, what year did this come out? This came out in 2011. So, yeah. Last but not least, a movie I have not seen yet, but I got it for a dollar with the slip. And it is, uh, Zipper. Yeah, this one was at a ton of Dollar Trees at the time. And you got Patrick Wilson... Uh, Lena Hedry, John Cho, uh, don't know her, Ray Winston, Richard Dreyfus, and anyone else? No. No, but this chick right here, looks like Cameron Diaz, but it's, it's not. Um, this came out in 2015. Rated R. It's supposed to be a political, political thriller. So it seemed interesting, and uh, I'll check it out one day. That is it. That is it for the Z's. <laughs> That's cool. I'm finished with the Z's. That means I'm finished with the alphabet. Um, but I'm not finished with these collection videos. No, no, no. I will have. Saturday and Sunday still for collection videos like my uh, I put all my Steven Spielberg movies together so I'll be doing uh, one of those I put all my Helford Hitchcock movies together so I'll be doing one of those uh, of course my Digibook collection which I'm I'm really proud of uh, my IMAX collection which will be a long video and uh, uh, there might be some other special ones in there as well so just keep watching on the weekends and um if i do take a break it'll be on um instagram i will post it there saying i'm going to take this weekend off and so on and so forth but usually i don't because i can upload these from any place but if i'm out of town i really don't want to bother so uh yeah just keep an eye on my instagram it's movie edge one and uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the A to Z plus the numbers uh, videos. And um, catch my other collection videos as well. And uh, of course, I'll have my A through Z um, Weiss videos, which we're going to be doing together. I don't know when we're going to record that one. Might take a little bit of time. But we will be doing that together. So join me here next time for another collection video. This is Movie Edge signing off.